The Douglas County Board of Commissioners consists of five elected members, four district commissioners, and the chairman. They form the legislative arm of the government, the body responsible for making the laws for the rest of us. District commissioners are elected by residents of a certain geographical area, but they vote on all issues affecting all of the people of Douglas County. In tonight's audience, we have District 4 Commissioner Ann Jones-Skyder. Uh, as Chairman Ramona Jackson-Jones noted, uh, District 1 Commissioner, uh, excuse me, District 3 Commissioner uh, Mike Mulcair is under the weather and unable to be with us tonight. And tonight, we honor and recognize the re-election of District 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson. Commissioner Kelly Robinson was re-elected for his third term in the November election. Is District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell here? Is he able to be here? I haven't seen him. Is he here? Henry, I didn't want to leave you out, but I hadn't seen you from up here. Anyway, District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III also. I invite District 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson to take the oath of office and then to address the citizens of Douglas County from the podium. Superior Court Judge Bo McLean will administer the oath of office. Ladies and gentlemen, District 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson. Mr. Robinson, as you know, we came into office together eight years ago, and we've stayed together. It's my honor to administer the oath of office to you again and to continue to work with you for the citizens of Douglas County. By your election, I'm going to read the oath to you and then ask at the end, have you say, I do. I, Kelly Robinson, do swear or affirm that you will truly discharge the duties of Commissioner for Douglas County in all matters that will require your official action to the best of your knowledge and skill, and you will so act as in your judgment will be most conducive to the welfare and best interests of the entire county. You have been a resident thereof for the time required by the Constitution and laws of this state, and you do further solemnly swear or affirm that you are not the holder of any unaccounted for public money due this state or any political subdivision or authority thereof, that you are not the holder of any office of trust under the government of the United States, any other state or any foreign state which you are prohibited from holding by the laws of the state of Georgia, and that you are otherwise qualified to hold said office according to the Constitution of the United States and laws of Georgia and that you will support the constitutions of the United States and of this state. So help you God, please say I do. I do. Now I'll minister the loyalty oath to you. You, Kelly Robinson, a citizen of Douglas County and being an employee of Douglas County and the recipient of public funds for services rendered as such employee, do hereby solemnly and swear and affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and Constitution of, of Georgia. So help you God, please say I do. I do. Congratulations. Good evening. All right, three times. Yeah. <laughs> three times. You know, that, that's symbolic for me. And I'm going to tell you about it in just a minute, but I want to acknowledge all the elected officials that are here newly and, and as well as those who are re-elected. 
I want to acknowledge all the dignitaries. Um, I've got to acknowledge my mother, Gloria Robinson, and my sons, Kelly Jr. and Christopher. I've got sisters, cousins, everybody here. Dr. Quinn, thank you all for being here and all my other supporters. But why I'm here is because of District 2. District 2, I am honored to represent you. I'm talking about from Factory Shoals Precinct to um, County Line to uh, Chestnut Log to Boundary Waters to Deer Lick. Okay. When I think about it, it's one of those where you guys put me on the map. You thought I was worthy to represent you, but yet you were worthy for me to do so. I need you to think about this. I had to advocate for you. I had to roar as a lion so that purple hurt me from every direction. I had to fight against people who came against you who tried to marginalize, invalidate. District 2 is like Goshen to me. It's special. I see myself as a Joseph. I am not trying to be the king. I'm not trying to be feral. But Madam Chair Woodham, I'm with you and I shall support you. I say all those things just to bring it full circle. That though we're not the most powerful, um, as of the three wise men that I've worked with over the past um, eight years, being a, a county commissioner is complicated. It is the highest governing authority at the local level, very complex. And I'm, I, I took this serious because I, I wasn't developed in 40 years and 30 years. I was going through a life crisis, as you guys know, um, when I came into office. You know? And it was one of those, Lord, send me. You guys sent me. And I tried to represent you guys with integrity because you were worth respecting District 2. It was an honor to serve with you. This is my last time. Um, I am legally blind. Um, not too bad for a disabled person, but what I can see, I can see. I don't miss. Um, I can hit a golf ball 200 yards down the line. But, but to that point, we talked about, I heard these words today, and, and unlike lawyers and stuff who have cold books, we don't. We have a very complicated um, operating environment. And it's one of those like, okay, what do I say when I, you know, I have to wait all the way down to the 12th hour to 12th second to make decisions, and I'm gonna close on this, is that you know, as an elected official, you've gotta operate in integrity. Um, elected life is something that is like, oh my God, when you're behind the veil. And I, I was talking to uh, William Bull McLean, who's a dear friend of mine, and we were walking down the hallway during the day and we were coming from lunch, I said, and I stopped and we were at the end, and I turned to him, I said, if I find out something, should I say something? And he turned to me and said, absolutely, brother. And it's one of those when you talk about transparency, when you talk about representative people, what I tried to do was amplify your voices, none of me and all of you. District 2, you're special. You let it be known with a 75% win. That, I mean, that transcends any demographic across the board. But District 2 represents the county across the board. I want to thank all of you for your support. Yes, we're going to advocate economic development, transportation. You guys all know that. But at the end of the day, I just want to thank you all for your support, for your belief that I will represent you in this last round, which is going to be my best round. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night.